What are the very safest investments that you can make when you're first starting out in your luxury collection? What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. How are we living today? Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Liz. I make videos every Monday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Mostly on luxury bags, but a little bit of lifestyle every now and then. I really love sharing tips and tricks that I've learned over the years on how to get the very best deals on luxury bags, et cetera, et cetera. So if you guys are excited for this video, already hit the thumbs up and let me know if this is the content you like. And if you end up liking this video, go ahead and subscribe down below. Join the family. You would literally love to have you. One of the last videos that I put out a couple weeks ago on how to build your luxury collection from scratch, I'll link it here in case you're interested in seeing a little bit more, but that was a huge hit with you guys. So I thought today we will do the same style video, but just focus on bag. That is the bread and butter, and I know that's what a lot of you really come here for. I rarely say that you can get a return on your investment when it comes to handbags, because I think we all know it's really hard to predict the market, it's hard to predict what's going to be in style, what's gonna be a hit, what's gonna be a miss, but there are a few bags from our favorite houses that are sure fire great investments that are safe investments and you might even have a, a return on your investment off of some of these. So what's not to love about that? If you want to hear my picks, then keep watching. We're going to start with Gucci. Gucci is a little bit of a newer house, not so much a classic compared to some of the other houses we're going to talk about. If you have never bought a Gucci bag, you're just starting your luxury collection and you don't know where to start, then I would really recommend you look at the Dionysus bag. Let's little bit about the history first. This particular bag in style has been around since 2015. So this bag has only been around for five years. However, I am still deeming it a classic because we have just seen this bag everywhere for the past five years. This bag got its name from the son of Zeus, Dionysus, Greek god himself. The story goes, uh, basically, you know, this god had to transform himself like into an animal. I think he becomes a tiger in order to take a nymph across the Tigris River and as you can see like the shape of the U are tiger heads and that's really what makes this bag this style. I think this bag is just a perfect combination of old and new especially with that canvas print that to me is just the very like the most ideal Dionysus. You can get this bag on the pre loved market anywhere from like 800 ish dollars or you can buy it brand new and these can probably go upwards of $4,000. All in all, you can definitely find a bag that fits your style and fits your budget. Like for me personally, I would definitely be looking towards a Dionysus Gigi Supreme bag, something with more of like a classic Gucci print. That probably be more my jam, but I think this bag is just so unbelievably beautiful. It's the perfect grab and go type bag. It can be a crossbody. It can almost be like a little clutch, so it's super versatile too. You can just sort of wear it casually, dress it up a little bit, or even you know if you have a wedding or something, wear it as a clutch. Totally to die for in person. It's just it's the perfect kind of bag. Okay, we gotta talk about Louis Vuitton next. You guys know I am a sucker for Louis Vuitton. I have talked some shade about this bag in the past, but listen, that's just. More more a tell on how popular this bag is. It is so popular. You guys already know I'm talking about the Neverfull. The history on the Neverfull is pretty interesting too. This one has been around since 2007, so we're going on 13 years. A little fun fact about the Neverfull, I believe it takes like 45 hours to make one. This bag is completely reversible. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about that or know that, but it's completely reversible. I think it was first built for like the beach, like to take your bag to the beach, but of course it has those drawstring like lace straps that you can make it like really small and turn it into like a little bit more city chic type style. This bag comes in a couple versions, but the classic version with the striped interior, that is just a nod to the classic Louis Vuitton travel history and the travel trunk. The GM, the grand model, the grand model, can carry up to like 90 kilograms. So that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight on your little shoulders. You can get the Neverfull on pre-love on pre -love sites, if, you know, depending on if it has the pouch with it for, I don't know, I've seen it for like $900 and then upwards uh, it gets into the, into the 
thousand dollar range but this is such a good investment especially if you're a tote girl i mean it's two bags in one you get the actual tote and then you get like a little pouch too to keep your things a little bit more secure it comes in a few different sizes and then a few different canvas prints so you can really find the perfect match for you let's talk about dior dior is another one of my favorite fashion houses as i'm sure it is for all of you watching i think the most classic bag is the lady dior which to me has some of the best history if you guys are a fan of fashion then i'm sure you know that the lady dior really was made super popular by no one other than princess diana herself so this exact bag has been around since 1995. one of the things that's really cool about this bag are its metallic charms and those charms are actually a nod to christian dior himself and all of the lucky charms he used to like love and use to me that's just like so cute and i'm obsessed with that fact when christian dior staged his first ever fashion show in 1947 he used napoleon the third chairs with that beautiful quilting in the first rows so that quilting carried over into the lady dior now i think whenever we think about lady dior we think about princess diana and sort of like her legacy and just how classic and beautiful this bag really is this comes in the mini and it comes in a medium and large so there are a couple different sizes it comes in also a million different colorways and leathers so there is really a bag out there for each and every person i think this bag has been around for 25 years i don't see it going anywhere soon and if it does kind of like ebb and flow with the trends and, and we see it disappear for a little bit she will be back baby she definitely will be back we have to talk about the one and only chanel of course we're talking about the chanel classic flap when i think about classic luxury handbags i think of the chanel classic flap there's there's no other thoughts to be had and the history behind this one is super extensive okay we know coco chanel designed her first handbag in 1929 and it looked a little similar to the classic flap that we see now however it wasn't until 1955 that she debuted a bag that women could wear on their shoulders before that it like wasn't a thing for upper class women to be wearing any bags on their shoulders it was much more socially acceptable for them to be wearing them like top handle bags like that and it wasn't until 1980 i want to say when carl lagerfeld debuted the interlocking cc's so in its truest form the chanel classic flap has actually been around since 1980 in 1955 i think it ran for $255, which in today's time is $2,500 American dollars. And I'm sure you guys know uh, Chanel sells these bags now for six, seven, eight thousand dollars depending on the style. You can't even really get these on the pre-loved market for much less than that. So any way you slice it, you would have totally made a great return on your investment if you had invested in some Chanel bags a couple years ago even. This is one of the best investment bags. We've seen maybe three increases in Chanel Chanel pricing so I would only expect that to go up in the future so down the line I'm sure we will see another price increase in the next year or so maybe even sooner all I'm saying is if Chanel classic flap is on your wish list it's better to pull the trigger sooner than later on this one but this bag comes in three in many different sizes too in caviar leather or calfskin leather and it comes with gold hardware or silver hardware and then all of the colors in between for the colorways. This bag, really similar to the Lady Dior, I mean, you can find the Chanel Classic Flap that is perfect for you. These videos are so much fun for me to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helped at least one person out there. If it did, give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more content like this in the future. If you guys aren't sick of hearing my voice or seeing my face yet, then I'm gonna pop some videos up on the screen here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What is your best investment bag? And until the next one, I'll see you in the next one.